A Splash of Red, The Life and Art of Horace Pippin, written by Jen Bryant, illustrated by Melissa Sweet. Horace Pippin was born in the town of Westchester, Pennsylvania, on February 22, 1888. Horace loved to draw. He loved the feel of the charcoal as it slid across the ground. He loved looking at something in the room and making it come alive again in front of him. He loved thinking about a friend or a pet, then drawing them from the picture in his mind. Sometimes Horace even made pictures next to the words on his spelling list. The pictures just come to my mind, and I tell my heart to go ahead. One day, Horace entered a Draw Me and Win a Prize contest. He won colored pencils, a pair of brushes, and a box of paints. Congratulations, the note said. Horace had won his first real art supplies. The colors are simple, such as brown, amber, yellow, black, white, and green. When Horace grew up, he joined the army and sailed away. In France, Horace and his regiment dug deep trenches for protection. Planes droned overhead, gunfire rattled through the night. If the fighting stopped for a while, Horace put down his gun and picked up a pencil. The war brought out all the art in me. Horace was injured during the war and couldn't move his right arm well. He stopped painting for a while and married a woman named Jenny. One day, Horace decided to start drawing and painting again. With his left hand, he grasped his right wrist and was able to make pictures. As he delivered laundry or fished in the river, new ideas came, but he didn't paint them right away. Before he reached for a brush, Horace planned each new scene in his head. Horace painted roughly 140 works of art based on childhood memories, family stories, historical reports, photographs, movies, current events, and Bible scriptures, as well as his own neighborhood. Today, museums across the country proudly display the work of Horace Pippin, a man who overcame many obstacles to pursue his dream of art. A Splash of Red has won several awards, including the 2014 Schneider Family Book Award because it embodies an artistic expression of the disability experience for child and adolescent audiences, as well as the 2014 Orbis Pictus Award in recognition of its excellence in the writing of nonfiction for children.